So everything we're taking here, our friend Fiona, God bless her, has lent us her van. And um, we're going to take all the big stuff today. So I took half of the things up in the car, the smaller things, but the big things like the sofa and the wardrobes and the furniture, we had to just put the van outside. And thankfully, when we actually did it, there was no cars that came up and down the street and we did it twice. So we managed to really get away with that one. So, um, yeah, it's happy and sad. It, it's time to move on. Um, it's it's emotional because I'll set myself up here. The amount of effort and work you actually put into um, a house, but it's also the achievement, and it's not being big-headed. It's a huge achievement to do a renovation. Um, and it, it's hard work because you literally, I call it house camping. And unless you ever experience it yourself, you, you will never know how hard it is. And um, I've just stopped saying I'm done as well. That's one of my things. But... Um, yeah, it, it is a huge achievement doing a house renovation and you get emotionally attached. Um, this was never our forever house. We knew that because we wanted a garden and we've got a beautiful roof terrace and a courtyard. But we always wanted a garden and our new property is the same size as this house. But it's got two acres of land so we've had to um rough it and do three years nearly four years of building this house to achieve our next goal and i think that's what it's all about sometimes especially in portugal you, you cannot get everything that you want don't come over here thinking like we did that we would get um a detached house with land for a really cheap price. The, those days have gone anyway now. Um, you, can, you can get some deals and some bargains, but there's always a compromise. And one of my friends, and he's done very well for himself. He's got a lovely villa. Uh, well, he's got a few properties actually. And he said he's moving into a spectacular dream mansion with a swimming, swimming pool. And he said, there's always a compromise, Angela. And his compromise is that he can still get sound from a nearby road, even though um, he's in the location that he wants. This is the thing, there's always a compromise. Um, our new property, our compromise is um, it's not in Alt. I mean, we love Alt. Um, we love the people in Alt. So, moving day. Yeah. And it's a, a big cheers. It's taken us four days to actually move the house. We haven't quite moved because we had to put it all in storage. So, it's been stressful. And uh, one of the things here, that when we decided to start packing things up, we realised that two of our boilers didn't work very well. So, we've installed... installed a new boiler. Installed. Installed. Two boilers. Two boilers. Two brand new boilers, because the amount of uh, line scale in this village is quite high. So, and we get the old ones back, but we'll have it all um, decalcified. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll give you a walk through our house one last time. Angela will, because I'm exhausted. Okay. So, this room here, which is our kitchen, um, we called it house camping. And we actually oh. stayed in this room, 
which isn't a large room it's four meters by three meters while well, we took the rest of the house down believe it or not um in fact if i just go back you'll see the kitchen from a better angle i actually wanted a breakfast bar here but because of the roof situation we couldn't do that so um that's the lounge area all empty now um the uh, fairy lights outside it's a mahogany door but these are bifold doors they actually fold right back um that's our little courtyard which looks absolutely gorgeous the stable door and we'll just go round to the bedroom um that's a little bathroom ivy's absolutely flaked out i've done as much work as him so yeah but you made me have to paint the entire wall because you told me it was white and i said it isn't cool. yeah so that's sort of the master bedroom i've got the fan on in here Abe's painted the walls for them, believe it or not, just so it looks nice and fresh. So, and then we'll go into the bathroom. We are going to have a bath tonight. Um, the thing is with this bath, it's absolutely huge. In fact, you won't believe how actually big it is. It is huge. And... Um, We've only probably used it, I think, three times. A, because it, one of the reasons it is too big. That's our pretty courtyard. And a little roof terrace. Go and have a look. The pretty lights are now, it's a lot nearer than it actually looks here. You can see the church and the moon and our little gazebo just waiting for the new owners to arrive and come and have a look at everything. Um, got an okay from them. But uh, yeah, it was difficult because this street here is really just a single street and uh, I'll turn the camera around. Yeah, d doing a house renovation, you don't actually, you can't actually appreciate it until you've actually done it yourself. But I must admit, none of the neighbours, none of the neighbours um, complained whatsoever. Um, and we were we were mixing concrete and cement sort of like at 11 30 at night some nights and because it was so hot during summer um it was just something that we had to crack on with and they have been so patient with us and there's one thing that i must say about the portuguese people that they are so lovely genuinely lovely people um yeah and it, it's been it, it's quite emotional really i mean these people are moving into our house um and we're getting like top money for this um house renovation and um It's like, we've, t we've taken four days of taking all our furniture out and I clean the floor absolutely every single day. Um, this is the thing you don't realise with carpets in the UK. I clean the floor here absolutely every day, I sweep it and then I go over with bleach and a mop. But, oh my God, the amount of dust, you just cannot comprehend. Um, under the beds, under everywhere and somebody said to us that um, when you do a house renovation 
the dust doesn't settle for years and I can quite believe it actually because I mean we've been quite clean we're quite clean people but everything covered in dust but then again the Algarve is quite a dusty place especially when we get dust over from the Sahara which we do we, the first couple of years we got dust from the Sahara sort of twice a year um, this year we've actually had it quite a few times and sometimes it is sand but sometimes it's like mud that, and dust that just land. So we're, ju we're just waiting for the new owners to come um, from the airport. They landed at um, 5.30 and I think it's about 7 o'clock now. I'm trying not to get emotional because... I love this house. Um, so, this is the face of exhaustion. Um, I'm going to sleepwalk through the food and probably face plant into it because I'm so tired now. House and we've sold it. We've totally moved out now. Um, and we've, we've got a really good price for it. So we're like really happy. Um, so yeah, so we are so exhausted. Last night I had two hours sleep and we're going to explain to you about what happened today with the notary but we're going to do it tomorrow when we've got a clear head because we are shattered. And you were so tired, what did you eat last night? Abe said that there was a date on the bed and it wasn't, it was actually, it was, it was actually a dog sausage. So she actually started chewing a dog sausage. <laughs> He's so mean. 